another DIY video for you. This time I'm testing out five different methods on how to make DIY lip balm. Of course, whenever I do a DIY, it has to be quick and easy, but stay until the very end of the video to see which method works best and which method I will never ever do again. I'm gonna start off with a very easy DIY lip balm. All you will need is Vaseline and some loose pigments. Some other items you will need to complete this DIY is a jar or it's just something that you can put your lip balm in, a Ziploc bag, and a pair of scissors. Open up that Ziploc bag and put in about half a tablespoon of Vaseline. And then take a loose pigment of your choice. You don't have to pick brown. I just picked brown because this is what I have and I like that this particular brown has some glitter on it so I think it will look really pretty as a balm. So the more pigment I add in is gonna make it more pigmented and if you want a lighter color then just use less. Just seal up the Ziploc bag and this is my favorite part of this DIY. I'm just mixing up the Vaseline and loose pigment together on the outside of the Ziploc bag so I don't even have to get my hands dirty. This is just so easy and it's so simple. Now that the mixture is all mixed up, I'm going to gather it into the corner of the Ziploc bag. I'm going to use my scissors and cut off a little snippet of it and then I'm going to use that to transfer it into a jar. You don't have to use a jar obviously, you can use anything you want to put the new lip balm in. But this is just an easier way to because look, you're dispensing it out of a Ziploc bag and all you have to do for cleanup is just throw that away. It's just Everything is just so clean and neat. It's actually so great. I just realized I never introduced myself to you guys. Well, my name is V. Hello and welcome. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button right now. And more importantly, hit that bell symbol so whenever I come out with a new YouTube video, they will actually alert you when I do. Whenever I post a brand new video, I actually hang out in the comments section for about an hour, replying and reading all your comments. So come hang out with me in the first hour or two or three, whatever you like, and become part of the notification squad. This next DIY, you will need some coconut oil, Vaseline again, or any white petroleum jelly, eyeshadows or blush of any color you want. So with this method, we are going to need a candle and a large spoon. I am using about half a tablespoon of Vaseline right here. Um, if you're using a larger container or a smaller container, you have to adjust the amount of Vaseline you add in, of course. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just holding it over the candle and the fire on it is just melting the Vaseline. Once it's all melted, I'm going to take it away from the fire and I'm going to add the eyeshadow um, into the mixture. Now you can pick again any color you want. I'm just picking blue because it's vibrant and it's kind of crazy. So I'm bringing the candle back so it can melt the eyeshadow. And while it's melting the eyeshadow, I'm also trying to blend it in with the Vaseline. So when everything is all mixed together and melted, this step here is completely optional. You don't have to do this. I'm just going to put a little bit of sparkle into my life and into my lip balm. So I'm going to add some glitter onto it. Ah, doesn't that look so pretty? Ah. Now I'm just going to mix it in and then transfer it into a container. For the container, I am using an old MAC lipstick tube. You don't have to use a lipstick tube at all. You can use anything that will hold a liquid. I have a handy dandy little cute funnel that will make this job a little bit easier. If you don't have a little funnel like this, uh, I would probably recommend using a jar or something because it's kind of hard to transfer liquid into a tiny tube without a tiny funnel, you know? When you're done with that, put it in the refrigerator for 20 minutes. All right, here is the lipstick after 20 minutes. You can see the glitter is collected onto the top there. Everything just floated to the top, but you can still see some glitter on the, um, the body of the lipstick. This is of course a bomb, so it will have a sheer finish. You can see some glitter on my hands there, and I think this will look good on top of a dark lipstick. You will need coconut oil, matcha green tea, and some beeswax. Get a container that is glass or ceramic, something that you can boil in, and add in one tablespoon of coconut oil. Add the same amount of green tea matcha into the container, and try not to spill it like I did here. <laughs> And repeat the same step with the beeswax so everything is one to one to one ratio. 
So with this method, I'm going to be double boiling the content, but I'm not going to do it over the stove. So I'm trying this out to see how it goes. So I'm getting a bowl um, that is heat resistant. So I already boiled some hot water over the stove and I'm going to add that in to this container so it will melt everything inside. The beeswax is going to be the last thing to melt because it's a solid. So I did have to add in more hot water into this bowl because the beeswax did take 20 minutes for it to entirely melt. So if you have a brand new EOS like I have here, you're going to have to remove um, all the bomb from inside of it. So you can put the new DIY bomb in there and it's actually very easy to do. Um, I just got a little stick and simply just push it out of the container. It's actually very easy to do. There's going to be some leftover bomb in the container, so I'm just going to clean it up. I took the grate out of the bottom of the EOS and cleaned it again. And once you're done, you should have three separate pieces like this. Now that everything is melted, I'm going to transfer it into the EOS. I am putting the grate on the top of the EOS, so it's upside down right now. Once I'm done transferring everything into the top of the EOS, I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and fridge it for about 20 minutes. So I'm, it's actually refrigerating upside down without the bottom. Now that it's done, all you have to do is reconnect the bottom EOS back. Now twist off the top like you normally would an EOS and here is the finished product. It's not the perfect dome shape, so I'm actually going to use my finger to shape it a little bit. So here is a swatch on my hand, and wow, that is really green. Maybe um, next time I will use like half the amount of green tea matcha powder. But you know, once you blend it out, it's not, a, it's not as bad. It's not as bad. Here's another quick and easy DIY. In a microwavable bowl, I put in half a tablespoon of Vaseline, and then I'm gonna add a few drops of food coloring. I chose the color pink, but of course, you can pick any color you want. Next, just mix the Vaseline with the food coloring, and you have to do this very well. It has to be mixed thoroughly for it to work. Next, put it in the microwave for 10 seconds and then the last step you have to do is pour it into a container. And I picked a lipstick container again, but you don't have to. I just like to test this out just to see what it's like. Hey, did you, did you guess the actual last step is, of course, refrigerating it for 20 minutes? So once the 20 minutes is up, take it out of the refrigerator and then test it on yourself like I did here. It's actually a very pretty pink color. I like it. You will need some coconut oil, some beeswax, and a red lipstick. In a container that it is safe to boil hot water in, add one tablespoon of beeswax and one tablespoon of coconut oil. It's that one-to-one -one portion again. Grab the brightest red lipstick you have and cut a chunk of it into the container. I'm using the double boil method again, but this time it's going to be on a stove top. I filled up this pan with hot water. Um, it never goes to boil though, so it's always in the medium to medium low. When everything is melted, I am transferring this into an empty travel size Altoids tin. And if you have made it this far, you'll probably know that it's going to go in the fridge for 20 minutes. While I'm waiting for that to refrigerate, I'm actually going to repeat that step all over again, but this time with white pigment instead of the red lipstick. Now that everything is hardened, I'm taking like a wooden stick to carve out the triangle that is the play button. Take your time doing this. There's no rush. I use multiple tools. I use this wooden tool and then I also use a knife right here to get sharper, straighter line. We use the wooden tool to scoop everything out and I just kind of keep repeating the step until I am happy with the triangle. When you're happy with your triangle, what you need to do is add in the white liquid that was boiling on the stove into the triangle so you can make a play button. You just have to pretend that I already did that. And here is the finished product in the Altoid Small Peppermint Tin. And
and look at that, isn't that just adorable? I am very happy with how this turned out. And I over um, filled the white a little bit so it kind of popped up in a 3D manner. Doesn't it look like you can actually push the white button like something magical is gonna happen? I think it's so cute. This is so cute. My favorite DIY is the first one because it's super quick and super easy. I really like using that Ziploc bag so I don't have to get my hands dirty. My least favorite DIY is when I double boil it without the stove. It took like 20 minutes just to melt the beeswax and that's just a lot of wasted time that I don't want to deal with. Lipstick tubes are meant for lipsticks obviously and it's really not meant for a lip balm. I really recommend storing it in a glass or a plastic jar. I love matcha green tea. Um, boba, ice cream, coffee, anything with matcha green tea I actually love. But the matcha green tea powder does not taste good. And I will never ever do that again because it was just disgusting on my lips. So don't don't use matcha green tea. Um, so I had the most fun making the lip balm that looks like a YouTube play button. I think it's just so fun and so cute. And if you want to give a YouTuber like a handmade gift, I think that is the perfect one, especially if they are a beauty guru. If you like this video, go ahead and check out this video. I think you might like that one too. Or, or maybe you will like this one. And if you really, really like this video, I would really appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up. And also visit me on my social media and contact me and stalk me. Well, no, yeah, that's okay. I, I think you can stalk me. Yeah, I'll, I'll, see, you, I'll see you on Instagram or something.